Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn on how to create a who is more Instagram filter. So this filter allows you to play with your friends where it tests your understanding of a particular topic such as who is more dramatic or who is funnier. So whenever you're moving to the same direction, meaning that both of you are agreeing on the particular topic and when you are leaning either to the, towards the left or the right and when you are moving to the same directions, that same direction that's when you are actually getting a point so whenever you're moving both of you are moving to the opposite direction you basically uh, lose you don't get a point so that's basically the idea of the game and uh, the best part today is that we're going to create this whole game using spark here's patch Bas uh, so we are not going to add any script it's all basically using those uh, logic as well as the things that have been given to us through the patch so let's get right into it All right, so for this part, what I'm going to show you is basically to tweak the face uh, texture. What I mean by that is basically we're going to do, uh, we're going to add those textures on the face, some uh, like a circle. So I already actually import all this uh, circle, uh, what do you call, with the colors. So this, we're going to put the white circle on the top of both face. So whenever you are, both of you are moving to the same direction, regardless of whether it's right or uh, left, we're going to activate the green one. And let's say we're going to move to the opposite direction. I, both of you are moving to the opposite direction. We're going to show the red one. Okay, so that's basically the idea. So to do that, let's just uh, add the object. So go to face tracker, insert. So we have face tracker here and we're going to add the plane. Okay, and then drag and drop. Now I'm gonna and for a material, so material O, and this material is basically going to be the white one. Okay, and I'm gonna make it bigger. All right, so I'll be renaming all the uh, what do you call the textures in a in a bit. So let me just add all this first. Okay, so I already have for the first uh, the first one. So now I'm going to create another face tracker for the second face, and I'm going to do the exact thing. So instead of doing like that, I can just delete this and uh, duplicate. So I already have for the face tracker one. Now for the plane name, I can uh, change. So let me just uh, change the name here first. All right, so these are the materials for all the six textures that we have added, the six planes that we have added from uh, on both of those, uh, I mean, both phases. Uh, all right, so now you already have all this. The first thing is basically going to face tracker, uh, first one, click on create and look for producer patch, click on it. So this producer patch is basically being, will be using this to actually create the rotation effect. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm gonna create the second one as well for face tracker one. There is a patch. Okay. Change the index number. So that's basically to actually indicate that's for the second person. Now you already have all this. Right click, look for rotation. So you're gonna look for head rotation. And there are actually plenty of things you can do with head rotation here. So like turning left, you can actually detect whether it's turning left, turning right. And I'm gonna actually use Two, fun, uh, two output which is leaning left and right. So I need to duplicate this again because I need to have two uh, head rotation nodes for both of the face. So face tracker. So I'm going to drag this and type it here. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Now once I have this, let me just make it bigger so you can see. Alright, once I already have all this, I'm going to create the end gate 
Okay, the reason why I'm using AND gate here is to actually define each of those movement. So there are actually four possible combinations of uh, movement, which is both moving to the right, both moving to the left, and uh, either one of you moving to the left and right. So basically there are four combinations. So we're gonna create four uh, possible combinations of uh, what you call output. So for that, we're gonna use the AND gate. All right, so first I'm gonna use uh, the correct one. So the right one is basically left, left or right, right. So both moving to the left and both moving to the right. So lean left and also lean left. Okay. And um, make sure you rename this so that you will know that this is the correct one. Okay. I'm going to do that for the right one as well. Right, uh, lean right and lean right. Okay. And uh, Okay, so I already have the correct one here. Now, I also need to create the AND gate for the wrong ones, right? So there are actually two possible combinations for that. So the first one, I'm going to take this left, the first one, and right of the second one. Left and right. Okay, so. Right. okay so I already have this. And uh, we copy and paste. Just move this thing out here. And this one is going to be right and left. So it's going to be right and left. And right and left. So I already have all the possible combinations of this, uh, what you call output of the movement, right? Head movement. So now we're gonna create another logic called OR. So we are using OR to actually ensure that we are able to make one of these things visible according to the condition, which means we want to make sure the green one is visible when either both move to the right or both move to the uh, left. So that's basically the idea. So by using OR gate, you can do that. So I'm gonna type that thing there and also this over here. And then I'm going to create another OR gate to actually choose the combination of either one of these, either both moving to left and right or right, left, respectively. So it's going to go here and here. All right. So we already have all the possible combinations over here. Now, how are we going to make it visible? So first for the correct one, the right one, which is either moving to the, I mean, both moving to the same direction, we're going to look for green and make it visible take that and uh, just connect that and also look for the green under face tracker one because you want to make sure that both i mean the green is visible for both of the faces right so yeah okay now so that's basically for the right one so for the wrong one make this visible and connect it here and same goes for the second piece all right now you already have all this now so this is already working however whenever you're moving whenever you are moving both moving to the same direction what happens is the white will still be there so you need to make sure that it is disabled it's not visible and for you to for you to be able to do that you need to take both of this node and connect to another OR gate. Why? So you want to actually tell people so, so that I whenever either whenever someone moves to either this condition which is both uh, moving to the same direction or opposite direction we want to disable the white uh, white circle. So we just connect it here and how do we disable it? By using a gate called NOT. So NOT basically it's uh, it does the opposite of what you want it to so normally if you just connect it to a visible uh what do you call it? just connect to a plane it will be visible but if you connect to a knot and then the plane the plane won't be visible when the condition happens like when the when the scenario happens so for that uh i'll take white click on this visible okay connect this and then another one here and i'm gonna put it all right, so that's basically it. And that's exactly how you actually create the 
the face tracking uh, image, I mean face tracking uh, circle where, where it actually changes according to the movement of your head. So that's all for this part. In the next part, I'll be teaching you on how to actually add those questions as well as the scoreboard. So until then, see you.